Hello friends, welcome to MySQL interview question series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in the series. Question is, how will you limit a MySQL query to display only top 10 rows? So this is a practical question for querying the data from MySQL and if you want to limit the number of records, let's say for pagination purpose or for performance purpose, then MySQL offers a very good option for that. So let's see what is the answer. So there is a limit clause in MySQL. We can use this limit clause to limit a query to a range of rows or the number of rows. So let's see how we use the limit clause. For example, in this query, select star from table name limit 0, 10. We are getting the top 10 rows. So starting from 0, which is the first row in the table, we are trying to get 10 rows. So 10 is the number of rows and 0 is the starting point. Then another option like this is that where we are using limit with 3, 6, select star from table limit 3, 6. So 3 means 0, 1, 2, 3, which is the fourth row. So starting from the fourth row, we are trying to get six rows. So these are the options. We can play around and we can get the limited set of data from MySQL. And there's no need to do Java programming or like C++ programming to limit that. You can just use the MySQL options to do this kind of a thing. So the next question is, what is automatic initialization and updating for timestamp in a MySQL table? So if we have a data type uh, timestamp, a col column is a timestamp data type, we can use this option. So what are these options? So in MySQL, there's a timestamp data type and it provides some features like automatic initialization and updating to current time and date. So how does it work? So if a column is auto initialized, then it will be set to current timestamp on inserting a new row with no value for the column. So if you set a data type as timestamp with auto initialized true, then whenever you insert uh, any new record in the table, then this column will become the current timestamp. It will get the current timestamp at the time of insertion of the new row. Even if you don't insert any value into that, the database will automatically initialize it to the current timestamp. Similarly, if a column is marked as auto-updated, then whenever we will be updating like uh, any other column in the same row, the value of this column will be updated to current timestamp. So that is auto-updated. So it's similar to auto-initialize. Generally, like in Oracle, we use uh, something called modified D columns, that kind of things. Whereas in MySQL, we can use these options. Then we have a column we can set as a default so that we can prevent this auto initialize and auto update behavior. Like you can set some default value and all that. So that's how you can prevent this auto behavior. 